It would be very sad to not be able to see my kids' beautiful faces, watch them grow up. I'd be really devastated. So Sally was recently pregnant. She had twins, and during her pregnancy, she noticed changes in her vision. So I have like a, a field, pretty good field of vision still, but it's not as good as it once was, and it's, if, I don't want it to get worse. So it's, you know, I don't want it to be suddenly like this, like a, in a tunnel. And here's your field of vision. This is your right eye. You can see how up here there's this black area. Mm -hmm. You had some trouble seeing the lights. Here's your left eye. And then again, up here, you had some trouble seeing the lights. When I would go like this, I know something's happening up there, but I don't, you know, see it very well. So it's kind of like this outer ring. I rely on my eyes for everything I do, from work to play to parenting. And she said I was pregnant, my vision got worse peripherally, and then when I delivered, it got better. And to the normal person, that may not make any sense, but to me, she was screaming loud and clear that I have a pituitary tumor. So he did an MRI scan, and it showed a tumor arising from the base of the skull, which was unfortunately a brain tumor. So here's the right and left eye. We trace the optic nerves going back towards the brain. Bam, that's the pituitary tumor that we found. For a single mother with twins, it was pretty alarming to have to deal with that with nine-day-old babies. Most likely, this is a benign tumor, which means that it's not going to spread to other parts of her brain. It's not cancerous. That being said, nothing in the brain is truly benign because if it continues to grow and we don't treat it, it can lead to blindness and eventually it can compress her brainstem and lead to death. Well, it's important that I, I guess, hold on to those memories. I just love gazing into their eyes. What if the pictures go black? That's terrifying. So the surgery is done through the nostril. Okay. And that takes us straight back to the base of your skull. If we had to do this surgery in the old days, we'd have to make an incision on her skull, starting at the top of her head, coming down to her ear, pull her scalp forward, remove this bone, and then work underneath the brain to get to the tumor. Now, fortunately, we're able to do the same surgery, but through her nose and still being able to remove the entirety of the tumor. I'm just taking a deep breath and hoping it all works out. Curious George visits the zoo. There was a lot to see at the zoo. It'll be scary kind of looking at them for the last time before I go into surgery, for sure. This is our neuro operating room. This is our microscope, which we'll use. This will give us a direct view to the skull base. These sensors pick up a signal, and it tells us exactly where in the brain we're located, and it'll show me on the screen exactly where we are. What are your baby's names? Okay. Sophie and Lexi. See, I'm distracting you. Yeah, I know. Flowers and puppy dog. Yes, I have, I have plenty of those, too. <laughs> Do you? I have four dogs. Four dogs. For Sally, like most of the population, losing vision is one of the main fears they could possibly have. Take good care. This is all for the image guidance. Once he registers her face, it'll link it to the scan that we have, which will show us exactly where we are in the patient's brain. Looks good, Roy. So this is all bone at the base of the skull that we removed to get access to the tumor. So now we're just opening the lining of the brain. So this is all tumor right here, all this yellowish tissue. We're just picking away at it, removing it piece by piece. Here's some tumor on there, Jackie. Here's some more. So we did get a preliminary report on the pathology. It looks like a pituitary adenoma, which is a benign type of tumor. It's not cancerous, so that's very good news. And the fact that we were able to remove everything that we saw means that hopefully she's cured at this point. You did awesome. Is it any better? 100% better. Yay. <laughs> well, let me show it to you because it's pretty impressive. Here was your right eye last time, and here it is today. Wow, so that's dramatic. It's all cleared up there. Here was your left eye. Today. Yay! You're cured. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. <laughs> that's awesome. Being able to look at the visual field before she knew the results is the best part for me because I I know okay her vision's perfect now, and I get to go in there and give her the good news. Yeah. 